Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with the next live attack video. And this is kind of a redemption one, uh, going against a pretty similar base to what I failed on last time. Making a few adjustments. A few guys gave me tips in the comments, which I appreciate, and I'm actually going to implement a little bit of what some of you guys said, because uh, I have to basically create a funnel again for my Valks, and uh, this time I'm not bringing a freeze, and I'm going to be a little more dependent on wall breakers to get the job done as far as letting my troops into the base. So anyway, uh, the plan is this. I'm going to start off with my queen uh, right here. Let her start taking this stuff out uh, with four healers on her. I will uh, drop some wall breakers uh, to basically just open up right here, this little part of the wall. And uh, she should enter in there. Uh, I'll At the top here, I want to make sure I can kind of funnel things in at the top. I'll have a wizard and a few barbs to tank for it in case that archer tower is in range. So take out that army camp. Probably drop the queen a little more in this area to make sure she doesn't head down to these buildings. She should make her way in, uh, just lure out the CC troops on her own as she steps up. And uh, I do have the rage for her as she deals with the CC troops and all that point defense gets on her. I have the poison. It's just a balloon, some mint, or a few balloons, a few minions. Uh, so if I poison early, they should go down pretty easily, and I also have the ability if I need it. I'm hoping I won't have to use it, but if, if I need to, I have the ability. As she's making her way this way, um, I'm going to drop my golem like that. Should tank for everything, including the expo, then just a wizard behind to take out that cannon. The golem should reroute back like this because that's the next closest defense, and as soon as it does, I'm going to drop some wall breakers and because that cannon goes down, they should target that wall, uh, let everything in uh, to there, maybe one more wizard. And then the main thing is my king and probably like one or two Valks, I think two Valks, uh, let them make their way on in and clear out this section of the base. So now the funnel's being created, I'll drop a giant to tank for the wizard tower, I think two giants actually, uh, drop a wizard here and uh, just send my Valks in, let them beat through both walls. I might have a few leftover wall breakers that I can use uh, to open up the first wall. But anyway, uh, they should make their way in. I have the jump, I have a rage, and then I have two heals. I'll probably use the first one kind of early. If I need to, um, I could use it here. Hopefully I won't. If they're too low on health, I will. Uh, but I do have two heals, so uh, I could use them both on kind of towards the end. Uh, keep those Valks up as they deal with the back side of the defenses. I have like four hogs, which I'll send in, probably in those two archer towers, uh, target some of that distracted point defense. And my queen hopefully should be up. She's the most important part of the end of the attack. She should be up uh, helping out, and hopefully everything can kind of piece together for a three star. I'll go ahead and check, make sure I have everything, and then from there I can go ahead and get into the attack. So have the heroes, uh, spells look good, CC troops, and then all the regular troops uh, looked just how they should uh, that yep that's all looking good um yeah we are good to go for the most part uh, looks like we have someone else going in right now on uh, number six and we have a defense too but anyway you can see the war is not the closest I mean they're putting up a pretty solid fight I think we should have somewhat of a comfortable win but uh, they are doing a somewhat good job and uh, they're taking out some of our bases, so gotta make sure uh, I do my best here to get the three star. Uh, just gonna make sure I know where to drop my queen again. That CC should come out pretty easily, you can see right there. Uh, but gonna, yeah, gonna drop her right up there with the healers behind, then the wall breakers, and then uh, create the funnel with the wizard. Alright, everything looks good here. Uh, we'll go ahead and get into it and uh, see if we can get the three star. And uh, yeah, everything looks great. Okay. All right, in we go. Uh, let's get the queen ready. Get her down right here. Let's go. Queen, one, two, three, four. As soon as that mortar, one, two, three. A uh, few barbs, no wizard. Okay, the queen's gonna make her way on in. That all looks good. Uh, she's not going to need a rage for a little while. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we'll just monitor her as she makes her way through. Uh, she should tra uh, trigger the CC troops in just a moment. Right after that goes down, I'll get the poison ready. 
Yep, there go the CC troops. I'm going to go ahead and double poison this and get ready to rage her up right there. Uh, the rage is down. Everything looking good. The Tesla went down. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn my attention over here. Uh, let's get this golem going. Uh, wizard. Might need a second wizard there. Uh, there, that goes down. Golem reroutes on in. Uh, wall breakers. There's the king. Two Valks. Now the giant. Giant. And let's get these Valks going. Ooh, the queen's already in there. I'm going to have to pop her ability. Right there. There's the jump. Rage. King's ability. Heal. Let's get a hog in. Hard to tell what's going on. <laughs> uh, let's heal right there. Oops. There's the heal. Get these hogs going. The queen is still up. This one's going to be a three star. Crushed this base. Uh, absolutely destroyed it. Everything went well. I think not bringing the freeze, just bringing the extra. And not bringing that jump too. Because remember from the last attack, let's make sure I didn't forget any corner stuff yet. Make sure, uh, remember in the last attack, uh, there was the deal with the, j the jump that kind of just functioned to let my king and the few Valks in went ahead and uh, took a little bit of a risk and used wall breakers but it freed up a spell and then also not bringing the freeze that's a full extra rage I can bring to get more value for my queen walk and also a uh, another heal for the Valks on the uh, back side of the base so the woo trains going uh, everyone's pumped up about that attack let's go ahead and take another look at it because uh, I couldn't talk doing it that much a little bit a uh, little bit nervous but more importantly had to focus so uh, we'll go ahead and fast forward a little bit. But you can see here, 220 about, so plenty of time to spare. Queen goes down, there is the two point defense on her, but it's kind of uh, the Town Hall 9 cannon and then the, just the one upgrade on the Town Hall 10 archer tower. So not too much for her to handle, and she gets the cannon down, steps up, gets that second point defense. So she's doing fine, now gets that air defense, which is always important to make sure the healers don't go down. And just starts making her way through the base. Right here, that Tesla pops and the CC troops come out. Wanted to poison, uh, do a double poison early, just because I thought I'd forget the poison for like the heroes or something. So might as well at least know I'm gonna get some value for it because the balloons had no chance on the queen and she also helped out by shooting at them a little bit. And uh, right here that there is the three point defense clumped up, but the rage lasts for quite a while. And uh, because now that those storages are in her range, it actually works out nicely. She uh, basically is going from defense to defense taking all this stuff out, kind of missed the golem there, uh, but dropped the golem, went ahead and went a little heavier on the wizards, because I wasn't sure what was being targeted, uh, just dropped all my wall breakers, probably didn't need to do that, but kind of just a wall breaker spray, luckily the king wasn't open, that wall didn't open up, because if it did, the king would have gone in there, the funnel would have been destroyed, probably wouldn't have gotten the three star, but the wall breakers weren't quite powerful enough to open up that second wall, so the king and the few valks go in the right place, they create the funnel at the top, I was late on the king's ability, you'll see him get pretty low. And there goes the queen's ability because she was already in range of the inferno. Uh, luckily the queen's ability will be enough to keep her up. Uh, right there the king gets engaged by the enemy queen. He takes the long walk and takes the jump spell actually which is awesome. And uh, the Valks just destroyed the core, the rage helped out and then there's that heal. I uh, still have that next one which I actually kind of misclick but I, I get it down eventually right here. Uh, heal up the group of Valks. They are taking quite a bit of damage, but there's so many of them left up that giant bomb's not going to do anything to them under heal. Then the few hogs, which uh, take out these defenses, uh, pretty much just crushed this base. Everything went perfectly. So uh, that's a wrap, guys. Hope you enjoyed the attack. And this is redemption for me. So uh, yeah, hopefully I can start three star in some higher level Town Hall 10 bases too with some better layouts because I'm getting a little bit sick of attacking this layout, but it's always fun to get a three star nonetheless. So uh, thanks for watching this one. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.